I am holding a piece of technology from the future. Inside this box is Wi-Fi that is capable of speeds of nearly five times faster than the fastest Wi-Fi's that we have today. Let me say that again, five times faster. Whilst it may look like your typical Wi-Fi routers that we get today, I assure you that it's anything but. And it's about to change everything. Special thanks to my friends from TP-Link for letting me borrow this so I can show you the insanity that is Wi-Fi 7. And yes, you heard that right. Wi-Fi 7, baby. And before we get into it, I just have to quickly show you what this is so you have a little taste of why I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got my Google Pixel 7 Pro and I'm connected to my regular office Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi 5 router and I'm connected at an awesome speed of 1200 megabits per second. Pretty good, but watch this. I have now swapped over to the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 router and look at that speed. So how is all this possible? This unit is called the Deco BE85. It's the BE22000 tri-band whole home mesh Wi-Fi 7 system. Wi-Fi 7 is the next evolution in Wi-Fi technology known as 802.11be and is way faster than what we have today. Wi-Fi 7 has a theoretical speed of 46 gigabits per second. If my math is correct, that is around 4.8 times faster than Wi-Fi 6, which has a theoretical speed of 9.6 gigabits per second and 6.6 .6 times faster than Wi-Fi 5 that has a theoretical speed of 6.9 gigabits per second and 76,000 times faster than 2.4 gigahertz, which has a theoretical speed of 600 megabits per second. Now, I say theoretically because we know that there are many factors that impact the speed, such as the distance between the devices and various interferences. So how does Wi-Fi 7 manage this kind of speed and how reliable is that connection? When sending an email, we aren't really too concerned about how fast it goes out. Once it leaves our art box, who really cares? However, when we stream a movie or when we get on those Zoom calls or when we play those online games, we really feel that when our internet connection is slow and has latency issues. Which is basically why we always encourage people to hardwire the devices whenever that's possible to get that reliability and stability of that connection. Now, Wi-Fi 7, is going to challenge all of that with several bits of technology. You see, Wi-Fi 7 uses all three frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. So it can support a large number of devices across the entire network. Wi-Fi 7 manages the connections and allows devices to connect to the frequency band that is least congested. This Deco BE85 can handle 200 plus devices at 22 gigabits per second. So plenty of bandwidth to go around and each device just gets the most stable wireless experience. Now add to the fact that this is a mesh system. So when you have multiple nodes around the home, each node has AI tech built in and it routes the traffic around congested areas and basically gets you the most optimal bandwidth. Now one of the key technology is that it uses wider channels for data transmission. The wider the channel width it allows for faster transfer rates. Now Wi-Fi 7 uses multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. That means that it takes all the bandwidth and breaks it up into separate streams and then the router can accept and send data at the same time. The Deco BE85 has 12 separated streams to give you all that glorious 8K streaming, VR gaming, and ridiculously fast uploads and downloads. Now, on this unit, if you run fiber, you have a 10 gigabits WAN connection to plug into. If you run cable, no problem, you have got two 10 gigabits connections and two 2.5 gigabits ports here as well. So you're gonna get some serious backhaul connectivity with this baby. Let's talk about latency. Well, Wi-Fi 7 achieves lower latency than Wi-Fi 6 because it uses a technology called OFDMA, which is orthogonal frequency division multiple access. Say that three times quickly. Basically, this technology allows for a more efficient allocation of the wireless bandwidth. Look, there's so much more tech, and I'm going to have a link in the description if you want to really dive into it. What I really want to show you is how this thing works in the real world. Want to see it in action? Let's do this. Okay, let me explain how we're going to run this test because I want to make it super practical for us regular users. So position number one is right next to the router itself. 
I have two phones here. One is the Google Pixel 7 Pro and the other one is the OnePlus 11. On your screen, you will see a link speed test between the devices themselves and the router. And then on top of that, I'll put a speedtest.net because that's our internet connectivity. We wanna see how that gets impacted. We're gonna run this against the Wi-Fi 5 router and then we're gonna run it against the Wi-Fi 7 router to see if it makes any real difference. But it's no good running at everything right next to the router because that's not how we all live. So we're gonna repeat the exact same test in two more positions to make it super practical. Let me show you position number two. So this is gonna be position number two. That's probably about, what, 15 meters or about 50 feet from the main router itself. That is position number two. One more position at the furthest point in my house. Let's go to that now. Okay, so this is position number three. That is about 35 meters away from the router itself. And it's probably about 115 odd feet if my math is correct. All right, let's get with the testing. Right, position number one, right next to the router. Keep your eye out on the link speed. And of course, keep your eye out on the download speed, 765 on the OnePlus, upload speed, 695, 726 on the Pixel, and 549 on the upload on the Pixel. Let's head back out now to position number two, and then let's see what the reading is there. So you can see the speed drops to 600 on the OnePlus, 408 on the Pixel, and you can see the internet speed right there on the download and the upload on both. And we head over to the last position on the house, furthest away from the router. Again, speed drops right down to 34 megabits per second and 60 megabits per second. And look at those speeds. But now we're gonna swap over to the Deco BE85. The OnePlus has a Wi-Fi 7 capabilities and the Pixel has Wi-Fi 6E capabilities. Is this gonna make any difference if we swap over to Wi-Fi 7 on the router? This is where the rubber meets the road. Let's check it out. Okay, we're back. Position number one with the Wi-Fi 7 router. Look at that link speed on both the Pixel and the OnePlus and look at those uploads and downloads speed. What a huge difference instantly. Let's head out to position number two and let's see what kind of reading we're gonna get there. And here you can see the link speed on both devices is still pretty darn strong, which therefore translates in pretty darn strong downloads and upload speeds on both devices. Let's head up position number three and see what's going on here. And even now, you can see how strong that link speed is compared to the previous one, which was in double digits. Oh wow, on my phones, I could see a clear difference. I hope it shows in the testing. Let's go back into the studio. So the entire time this was done, it was done with just one BE85 node. Add one more node, add two more nodes around the home, and this is game over. It's the equivalent of having an ethernet connection to a wireless device. This is just insane. But it's also important to understand that when we talk about speed, we're not talking about internet speed. It's not like you're magically gonna get 22 gigabits per second out onto the internet. What we're talking about is a much better internal management of the bandwidth inside your home or office so that you can get the maximum bandwidth from your service provider to each device that actually needs it. Now to take full advantage of the Wi-Fi 7, it's obviously ideal to have Wi-Fi 7 network cards in your computers, your laptops and your phone. But even if you don't have those right now, just by switching over to the BE85, using the Wi-Fi 7 capability makes a massive difference with the tech you have right now. And the best bit is you don't have to wait because the Deco BE85 is available right now from Amazon and Best Buy. Links will be in the description below. And with all that glorious bandwidth that you have, check out why you should stop using cloud storage and do this instead, or, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and help me get to that 1 million mark, please. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.